Yo what's up guys this is Atrix here today we'll be taking a look at the best settings for Yuzu emulator android now i also have purchased the Yuzu emulator early access build which i'll be covering in my next video so be sure to subscribe for that but let's open the normal version of Yuzu emulator android you will face lot of crashing issues and instability if you don't apply these best settings and even after applying these best settings the Yuzu emulator is not stable it won't be able to run all the games only few titles will be playable let me click on settings the first thing you can do is set the theme of yuzu emulator so there are two themes dark mode or light mode i'd like to keep it at default let's go back now let's open advanced settings you will notice that the settings ui is similar to that of citra emulator that's because the Citra emulator developers are the developers of Yuzu emulator. Indirectly, it is created by Citra emulator developers. Let's open general. Now you can either enable speed limit if you don't want the game exceeding over 100 FPS. This feature is useful if you guys have a high-end device. For example, on my device, I have Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. So if I don't enable speed limit, I'll get over 100 FPS in few games, which is little annoying. Now in the limit speed percent, make sure to set it to 200%. So you experience 60 FPS. FPS. The default is set to 100%. It means that your FPS will be capped to 30. I recommend you guys to keep it at 200%. Afterwards, CPU accuracy, keep it at auto. If you select accurate, few games may work other games will crash if you are unsure then you can keep it at auto but for now let's keep it at accurate let me go to system make sure to disable dock mode if you want to emulate games like let's go pikachu they have also provided us with some information related to dock mode emulates in dock mode which increases the resolution at the expense of performance so that's basically dock mode but uh, I recommend you guys to enable it if you want some crisp textures. Afterwards, uh, emulated region language and other settings should be default. Now let's go back. Let's go to graphics. Here are the main settings. In graphics API, you only have one option which is Vulkan. Accuracy level, now this is important. If you set higher accuracy level, then the game will look little better by setting the accuracy level to extreme. Afterwards, resolution, this is an important part. There are many games which go in-game in Yuzu Emulator Android, but they just crash. That's because the default resolution is set to 1x. In 1x, you get 720p or 1080p resolution. But I don't recommend this if you guys have a low-end device. I recommend you guys to use 0.5x resolution. Uh, this is best supported even on higher-end devices. If you want better performance, then be sure to set it to 0.5x or in between that is 0.75x. Now, if you want to emulate games like Tears of the Kingdom, they won't work at 1x resolution. You have to set your resolution to 0.5x. Now let's scroll down. Anti-aliasing method should be none. Window adapting filter is default. Afterwards, disk shader cache has been disabled. By default, this option would be enabled. But make sure to disable this option or else you will guaranteed face crashing issues. That's what I faced. I went in game in few games and afterwards, I am trying those same games again but they were just crashing. I figured out that it might be because of disk shader cache so I disabled that option and all my games started working normally. Now I'd recommend you guys to enable this option as it will improve your gameplay experience but for now it's just not stable. I won't suggest you guys to use it. Another graphics setting is use asynchronous shaders. I recommend you guys to enable this option but make sure that it may introduce some graphical glitches. After that we can head back. We have the audio section. Here you can only adjust the volume volume of game you can keep it at zero if you don't want any audio output but we'll keep it at 100% and that's about it for the best settings of Yuzu emulator normal version in early access there might be few more settings but for that you'll need to subscribe and wait for my early access build coverage video that will be coming out tomorrow I guess once you have set up everything and uh, applied the best settings you should be fine with emulating games like Naruto Shippuden, Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Unfortunately, Pokemon Sword has crashing issues right now along with Pokemon Scarlet. So these two games don't work. Zelda Breath of the Wild works, Tears of the Kingdom also works. So let's start with Tears of the Kingdom. And don't forget guys that I have set the accuracy level to extreme. So we'll be able to find out uh, if we get any graphical glitches and I have also capped my frame rate uh, to 60 FPS starting off uh, to enable the FPS bar what you guys have to do is just swipe back go to input overlay and make sure to enable FPS counter option uh, thank you guys for telling me in my last video where this setting is but anyways once that has been done you can also reset overlay enable haptic feedback but I'll just close everything let's go back to the game and if sometimes the game is showing black screen and is stuck at 0.6 FPS then what you have to do is just tap the A or X button 
for few times and you will notice the FPS go up and the game will start loading. Now for now uh, Tears of the Kingdom is showing some graphical issue. This is not usually present because I have already tested out this game. If I restart the emulator then the game will start working normally. If you want to see Tears of the Kingdom gameplay test on Yuzu emulator Android, I link that video on the iCard above or in description box below. But anyways Tears of the Kingdom is playable. Let's go back. Let's click on exit emulation. You might have noticed that in Tears of the Kingdom, even with extreme uh, GPU accuracy, I was getting around 30 to 40 FPS during the cutscene. Yuzu emulator does have a lot of crashing issues. It is nowhere uh, stable. And that's a great thing because it's a journey. As I had mentioned in my last video, it's very fun to take one step at a time. If everything is working instantly, then it won't be any fun, right? Uh, so that was life lesson with Atrix. But anyways, uh, let's try out a different game for now. Let's go with Sonic Mania just to demonstrate that uh, normal games like Bastion, Sonic Mania and similar titles work perfectly fine. Now I'll be comparing this simulator uh, with skyline very soon so for that video you'll have to stay tuned so that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the latest yuzu emulator android updates see you guys next time peace out